Hey guys, Matches Peaches here with another new video for you guys. Uh, today we're doing my first Pokemon video. I think it's a, my first Pokemon video based off of a figure or some type of ornament or, or piece. Um, and we're going to be doing the Pokeball replica, which actually just came out. Um, there's only like 5,000 of these made, I think. Um, and there's three different versions, but I wanted the classic, most iconic version. Um, and I think it would look really nice with some of my other pieces that I have out there. But let's, uh, uh, as always, take a quick look at the box um, and then we'll review everything, talk about the background on, on the piece, the company, blah, 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 all that stuff, the di dynamics and the really cool stuff behind this. Um, for those of you that don't know, actually, I am a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, Pokemon was my first real video game. I say first real because the first one I think I actually played was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with my sister. She would make me play as Tails, but I think she would unplug my controller and not let me play or something like that. I was really young. Um, but Pokemon was the first game that I owned and played all the way through by myself. It was actually one of the ways I learned how to read. I played Pokemon Red on my Game Boy Color. Uh, and then I've played through every single mainline Pokemon game uh, to completion. I haven't played the DLC for Sword and Shield, but I will get to it. But anyways, let's get on to the figure and we'll uh, start talking about it right now. The Wand Company is a UK-based collectible company that brings us this highly accurate Pokeball replica. This Pokeball features a colored surface that is sensitive to the touch and proximity. This premium quality, highly accurate Pokeball is perfectly sized with an engineered metal shell that electronically senses proximity and touch. So, in a simple way of putting it, if your hand gets close to the Pokeball, it will actually light up. The Pokeball comes with a presentation case as well as a stainless steel ring so you can display it however you want. Additionally, this Pokemon is authenticated by a unique numbered hologram which is on the bottom of the display case. This is definitely a unique piece to my collection and an interesting way for me to start my Pokemon figures that are outside of my amiibo. The Pokemon does not open up as the games in anime show, but the look and feel is exactly what you'd imagine when thinking about a real life version of this thing. I also tried capturing my dogs with it and unfortunately that didn't work, so maybe just stick to the games or Pokemon Go for that. Outside of this replica, there's also a Great Ball and a Master Ball version. The Great Ball is still available for pre-order, but good luck finding a version of the Master Ball as that's sold out with its limited quantity of 5,000. The Great Ball is still available for pre-order, but good luck finding a version of the Master Ball as that's sold out and with its limited quantity of 5,000, that's going to cost you a pretty penny. This model of the original basic Pokeball is also limited to 5,000, so if you want one, you better get typing. Link is down in the description. Included in the box is the Pokeball, a metallic silver display case that celebrates the 30th anniversary, a polished stainless steel display ring, a manual, and three AAA batteries that are already installed in the ball to light it up. The ball itself has a diameter of 75 millimeters and weighs about 10 to 10 and a half ounces with the batteries installed, so it does have some weight to it. The display case is also 90 by 95 by 95 millimeters. They designed the Pokeball using all available references and took advice and guidance from the actual Pokemon company. The dimensions, color, size, and weight of the Pokeballs have been officially approved by Pokemon. 
It's made from a mix of materials. The outer shell halves are precision made die cast zinc, which has been polished and then finished with a high quality liqueur. The black band and white button and much of the internal geometry needed to hold the electronics and batteries are ABS, an engineering grade injection molded plastic. The ring, again, is a stainless steel and the display case is made from ABS as well. The Pokeball's button light illuminates as your hand approaches the ball. The button light grows brighter and brighter as your hand gets nearer. If you touch both halves of the Pokeball at the same time, the button light glows at its brightest. Overall, I think this is an amazing replica of the same item from the games. I personally love the most iconic looking Pokeball that we typically see in merchandising, so this will make a great piece alongside my replica 4 star Dragon Ball. The glowing is a nice touch, so if I ever want to wow guests or friends, I can always show them how cool that novelty is. I give this piece 10 out of 10 Pokeballs. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Ring the bell so you're notified of all of my reviews and check my description for where I bought this figure. Till next time, later.